You can live the life you're living. You can live the life you like. You can even marry Harry and mess around with Ike. All right, we have a little um, Chicago there because today is almost as Chicago themed of a day as we can get without actually leaving home. So um, the two activities, uh, Amanda's coming over, we're gonna make some deep dish pizza and we're gonna watch Chicago Rot, which is, I won this at Canuga for the Scream Queen and also won the Chicago Rot shirt. So yeah, that was a few, um, few weeks ago and I still haven't gotten around to watching it, but um, anyways, after all that, I'm gonna do a little review of the movie and of the, um, the pizza recipe. It's um, from the realdeepdish.com. And before things get going, I'm just gonna read what the back of the cover says to give you an idea of what this movie is about. Um, after years of riding in Joliet, I hope I said that right because when I was looking it up, it said that it's um, in the in the city of Joliet, it's actually illegal to pronounce it wrong. So I hope the police won't come after me if I got it wrong. Um, Less a wrongfully imprisoned street legend known as the ghoul is released into a mad search through Chicago's back alleys for the man who slaughtered his mother and robbed him of his soul. What unfolds is a desperate tale of brute force tragedy set in a supernatural underworld where heroes are reduced to horror shows, villains dream of their own demise, and good and evil prove to be more complicated than they seem. That sounds good. I'm excited. Alright. She's thick. Here it is with some green stuff on the side. Alright, so as you can tell by my different shirt, it's the next day now, and I'm ready to get on with the reviews. I'll start with reviewing the pizza recipe. Again, it was using the recipe on realdeepdish.com. A big confession here. I have never actually been to Chicago. So I can't really comment on, on like authenticity or how it stacks up to, you know, other well-known famous Chicago pizzas. Uh, I can only comment on how I thought the recipe came together and how it appealed to my palate as a person who, if you've watched my videos, you know, who makes a lot of pizza and really enjoys making and eating pizza. So um, the first thing is that website has a ton of information and it's, it's awesome, but it's a lot of detail and it can get a little overwhelming. So if you're gonna check it out, I recommend um, taking a day to just look at it and make a plan instead of, you know, one morning waking up going, oh, I'm gonna go and make a pizza tonight. Like, just give yourself a little time. Just think it through. But it's a lot of information, but it's good information. And the pizza, it turned out fantastic. It tasted fantastic. I would definitely do it again. However, there were a few little things in it coming together that um, I was less than happy with, but they could have been mistakes on my part. Anyways, um, the first one was that the dough was super, super sticky and hard to work with. Um, it, it seemed like the kind of thing that if it, you would continue kneading it and working with it, that it would come together a little more as the gluten developed. And that's what I normally would have done, except on, on the recipe, it really made a point to say, don't overwork this dough, don't knead it too much. So I was very cautious with it. Um, I think next time I'll try being a little more heavy-handed and see if that does it positively or negatively. I mean, I was able to work with it. It was just, it was hard. It was like, uh. um, and the other thing that didn't turn out so great was the, the bottom crust of it was, um, was not like under I wouldn't say it was underdone, but it was it was less done. Well, I guess that does mean what underdone means. I don't mean it was like raw, but it was less done than I would like. And 
I think that could be because I didn't use a pizza stone. I don't have a pizza stone. Um, I I think that would have helped it kind of get more heat underneath there. And you've seen I make pizza often enough that it would be worthwhile for me to buy a pizza stone. So maybe I should. But I would definitely try it again. I would definitely recommend it. It was really great and just a, a really great way to change up my um, usual making pizza just about every week. Because I do. I do make pizza just about every week from scratch like that. So it was a nice nice change of pace. Um, and so on to the movie. So the first thing I would say, which was, I guess, the biggest strength of the movie was um, the visuals in it. Um, how it really committed to just the whole atmosphere that they were trying to convey of just the, the gritty grungy, grimy, gory, 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 gory. If you have any hang-ups about blood and guts and gore, give this give this one a miss, because it is unapologetically gory. Um, I, you know, I was expecting some. I was, I was a little surprised at, at points, I'm gonna say. <laughs> not, not for the faint of heart, not for people with a weak stomach. Um, Another positive that I liked was I kind of went into it thinking it was going to be more like your traditional horror movie, and it wasn't. And for me, that's actually a good a good thing. Um, the horror genre is great and all, but there's a lot of things that make those kind of films hard to watch because I don't like jump scares. It's it's not like they they frighten me or trigger me like they do for some people. I just think they're dumb. So no jump scares. And it didn't have that, that feeling where the tension builds and builds and builds and never lets up, because that just stresses me out. So it, it watched more like a very, very gruesome, more like a sci-fi kind of film, which is more more what I enjoy. And um, the, the thing that I did not like about it, uh, it was kind of hard to follow at times, the story. Um, it's hard to follow, and then because there was that whole extra element of like this hidden supernatural thing, at some points it felt kind of disjointed, like it was a whole other movie that didn't go so well with the first one, but you know, I'm glad I watched it. I think I would watch it again, and maybe maybe I'll be able to follow it a little bit more the second time. Maybe I won't be in a food coma from eating all that pizza, but uh, it was a good time. And um, two more things I forgot that I should do. Um, to end off this very Chicago themed weekend. Um, now that my girlfriend is home because she doesn't like musicals, now I can watch the musical Chicago. I've been thinking about that since I was singing that song yesterday. And um, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Maybe I'm going to go to the Drainage Creek out back and dye it neon green. That would be fun. All right. Now that's really it. Have fun and be safe. <laughs>